Hey guys, welcome back to Hash Include Electronics with another video. And in this video, we are going to make Robo Arm car and control it using PS3 controller and ESP32 module. We will pair the PS3 controller with ESP32 module and send the commands to control the Robo Arm car. We will control movements of Robo Arm using servo motors. So let's get started and make this Robo Arm car. If you haven't subscribed yet, please hit subscribe button below and press bell icon to get latest updates. For making robo arm car we will need robo arm kit four servo motors ESP32 module PS3 controller Four TT gear motors, four wheels, wooden plate for car chassis, L298 and motor driver module, UBC or buck converter to provide 5 volt to servos, 7 to 12 volt DC battery, in our case LiPo 2 years rechargeable battery, double sided tape, and few jumper wires. Let's first assemble the robo arm. You can check my video of robo arm using ESP32 where I have explained in details about assembly of this robo arm kit. Let's assemble the car now. First let's solder wires to gear motors. Mount all four motors on car chassis using glue gun. Attach L298 and motor driver module on car chassis using double sided tape. Mount robo arm on car chassis now. Fix ESP32 module on arm base using double sided tape. Now let's make a connection as per circuit diagram. Connect right side motors to out 1 and out 2 pins of L298 and motor driver module. Now connect left side motors to out 3 and out 4 pins of motor driver module. Now connect L298 and motor driver module to ESP32 pins as per table. Connect servo motor signal pins to ESP32 module as per table. We will provide power to all servos through UBC. For that connect wires to plus 5 volt and ground off servos. Now connect UBC input to 12 volt supply. Provide plus 5 and ground to all servos from UBC output. We will take plus 5 volt and ground from L298 and motor driver module and provide to ESP32 module through 5 volt and ground pin.
Attach DC battery power connector to motor driver module to plus 12 volt pin and ground pin. Attach wheels to car now. Let's take a quick look at the code. First we need to install ESP32 board using Arduino board manager. I have provided the ESP32 board link in the description below. Go to file, preferences and add the ESP32 board link. Then go to tools, then boards manager and search for ESP32 and install it. Now we need to install ESP32 servo library as well for servo motor control. Go to tools and then manage library. Search for ESP32 servo and install it. Now we need to install PS3 controller library as well. Go to tools and then manage library. Search for PS3 host controller and install it. Now we need to include the PS3 controller library. Also we need to include ESP32 servo library as well. We have defined servo forward step angle and backward step angle. We have created servo pin structure to store all servo details. We have defined pins for all four servo motors. If needed you can change it here. We have declared gripper switch to control the gripper servo. We have assigned the right and left motor pins. We have defined max motor speed as 200. Its max value can be 255. You can change this as per your need. We have set the PWM frequency resolution and channel for speed. We have write servo values function which will adjust the servo angle and also write it to servo. We have created notify callback function which will be called whenever we receive data from PS3 controller. Inside this function we will read left and right joystick value and move robo arm servos accordingly. We will also read the up, down, left, right buttons and move the car by calling the rotate motor function. We have on connect callback function which will be called when PS3 controller is connected. We have on disconnect callback function function which will be called when PS3 controller is disconnected. We have created rotate motor function which takes right and left motor speed as argument. It will rotate motor in forward or backward direction. We have created setup pin mode function to attach the servo pins to servo objects. It will also set the servo's initial position. We will set the motor pins as output. Also set the PWM channel for speed control. Initially stop all the motors. Inside setup function we will call setup pin mode function. We will attach notify and on connect callback function. Also we will attach on disconnect callback function. Then begin the PS3 communication. We can keep loop function empty. I have provided the link to the code in the description below. You can upload it directly. Now let's upload the code. Remove 5 volt wire from ESP32 module. Now connect ESP32 module to laptop using USB cable. Select ESP32 rover module and port. Hit upload. Now we need to get Bluetooth MAC address of ESP32 board and set it inside PS3 controller. For that connect ESP32 board to laptop and upload this get Bluetooth MAC address code. Select ESP32 rover module and port. Hit upload. Once uploaded open serial monitor and press enable button on ESP32 module. You can see that the MAC address is printed. Note this down because we will use it to set it inside PS3 controller. Now we need to set this MAC address inside the PS3 controller. For that install the 6 axis pair tool. We can download this tool online. Once installed open this tool. It will say no device found. Now connect your PS3 controller with laptop using USB cable. You can see that the pair tool shows device connected. It will also display the current master address stored if any. Now input the MAC address of our ESP32 board which we found in previous step. Now click update. That's it. Our PS3 controller is set up to connect to ESP32 board. Now connect battery to car. That's it, let's see how it works. Press PS3 button on controller. Now we can control the robo arm using left and right side joysticks. We can control car's movement using these arrow buttons.
we need to remember following points we need to use 7 to 12 volt dc rechargeable battery only provide separate 5 volt supply to servos through ubc or buck converter this power supply should have more than 2 ampere current hope you guys enjoyed the video and thanks for watching stay safe and please like share comment and don't forget to subscribe to my channel